Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be filming a what I ate today video. So my goal usually is to stay below 2000 calories, but what has been helping me personally from overeating or just giving up in general, instead of like having a standard cheat day where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I absolutely wanted, and then that would spiral me for weeks and I could not get back on track. So what I do now instead, which I've done twice already and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet. I am still losing weight and I'm feeling really, really good. So what I've been doing is allowing myself to have like my own version of a cheat day. And what that means, I'm giving myself like a different calorie limit. So I wanna stay below 2,500. So usually by doing that, I don't lose weight the next day. I usually stay the same, but this has helped me so much with staying on track. So that is my goal for today. Stay below 2,500. This is my version of like a cheat day. If I did not allow myself to do this and I constantly thought about how bad I wanted to eat, like this or that or extra things that is when i binge that is when i overeat that is when i spiral for weeks on end so i found like a perfect compromise in the middle and i figured today would be a really good day to show you guys what i eat on a day where it's kind of like a cheat day so none of my meals are gonna make sense i'm not having like a standard breakfast today i will be eating processed foods i will be eating on camera it's just like tons of disclaimers but i'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see i can safely say that i have not been on track this consecutively in years it has been years that is why i feel safe to show you guys like what i'm eating because i'm in the right head frame mindset whatever it may be just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and what made me at 1.572 pounds all right let's get into it okay you guys so the first thing i'm gonna have which i cannot pronounce is cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce so it says on the back of the bag um, for stove top to use some oil. So I'm going to be measuring the oil um, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters. So I'm going to be cooking this in a pan. Okay, so I have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen. Okay, you guys, so I'm finished and I cook this down a lot, like a lot, a lot because I like my food to be cooked. So a lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that I added is like still in the pan. But regardless, this is 930 calories. So on a day where I was trying to stick below 2000, I would not be eating this. And if I did choose to do so, I'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something. Okay, so really quickly, let's do a taste test that's good mm -hmm. so i'm gonna easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10. i'm gonna go eat this oh i need a drink hold on so i'm gonna be having a water and a diet green tea lipton mixed berry so good i always shake the tea before i uh drink it because there's usually just like some stuff down there you guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but I cannot eat any more of this. I'm not used to eating things like this anymore. It's just like very rich. It's delicious, but like my stomach is like, girl, no more. So I'm not going to eat the rest of that, but I'm still going to consider it the full amount of calories. I very much like to overestimate things just in case, but I don't think I'm going to be eating for a hot minute because like I'm telling you, my stomach doesn't feel the greatest after eating that. See, this is why it feels so much better to not have days where I eat things like that. Twinkie looks so cute. Speaking of Twinkie, you guys wanted an update on her. She's doing amazing. She took all her antibiotics. She no longer has any abscess. A lot of people were asking, I know this is like, I should probably talk about this in a vlog, but since I'm here, um, a lot of people were like, why didn't she take her to a primary vet? She does have one here. It's just, I couldn't get her in in an emergency so i had to go somewhere else so i had that's why i had to go to an emergency vet because when i called they were like yeah we can see her in a few days and i'm like no 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 like i want like i was so worried i want her to be seen like now so then that's when they recommended the emergency vet that i actually went to which i loved and by the way the vet was a subscriber hello if you're watching and they didn't actually tell me until 
after everything was said and done, which I thought was like very professional. And they were just like, I love you. I know who you are. And I was like, oh my God. So she saw me like cry for Twinkie because like when I had to sign this like paper for Twinkie to be sedated, like I literally had like a tear come down because it scared me. Cause it's like, I had to sign if I wanted them to like help her breathe if she stopped breathing or anything like that. And I'm like, uh, yes. And then I told my mom actually when we were leaving, I was like, I have met a lot of subscribers like easily over a hundred like easily none of them has met twinkie besides one so yeah she was just super sweet and she loved twinkie so much and she was just so kind and helpful but yeah twinkie is doing amazing okay so the next thing i'm having is a serving of these rice cakes which is 30 grams so I already have that measured. You actually get a lot for a serving, not gonna lie. And then I will be having six of these olives. One of them is 25 calories. Then I'm just having one pack. This pack, I just have it opened. It's just some salami sticks, which look like that. They're actually super good. Okay, so last minute I decided to just have four olives because I realized that they're pretty big. They're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno. So for this plate, it does come out to 350 calories. Honestly, this salami, I know it looks weird, but it's the best texture and it tastes so good. And you really do get a lot of these little thingies. And you guys know that I love a crunch. All right, so next thing I'm having are two of these pulled pork tamales. It's 340 for one of them. So 680 for two, which so far I've had 1,960 calories today. All right, so here it is finished. So let's do a taste test. I'm hoping that it's good. I do love me a tamale. Yep, that's tasty. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. I do love tapatio, you guys know me. Like, tapatio girly pop. So I do wanna try it with tap. A lot of people ask why I like tapatio so much. I actually grew up with it. I've just used it as my go-to hot sauce since I was literally like eight years old. I did have a sriracha era, but I love tapatio. Yep. So we're about to... <laughs> so with this, I am just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is this Trader Joe's mac and cheese. It is only 270 calories. So I have had this before, so no taste test, but this is delicious and I definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna go warm this up in the microwave and enjoy. So I forgot to show it, but with my mac and cheese, I'm having a sparkling ice in black raspberry. This one is so freaking good. Y'all, I am so tired. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my gosh. I took my melatonin, which this is the best. It's the brand Ollie. It's the Sleep. I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, but I'm so tired. Wow. And I forgot to end this vlog. I had about 2,200 calories today, so I definitely was successful in staying under my 2,500. And by doing that, I allowed myself to have some of the foods that I probably wouldn't have had if I was eating like a healthier day, which is when I stay below 2000. So it's been working for me and I think that's all that matters. You know, there was a moment today where I was like, damn, I want takeout so bad, but I ignored it. So this is where the cheat day ends and I'm getting back to below 2000 calories tomorrow. And if you guys did make it this far, here's a secret weigh in. I weighed in today at 488.0. So it is the lowest that I have weighed in a hot minute. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself and I just want to keep it up. Obviously, I'm not doing perfect by no means, but I've definitely made a lot of improvement and I have room to grow and be better. But I'm about to take off this hair makeup. I'm about to shower. I'm about to put my hair up and then I'm about to go to bed because I am super tired. I hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.